2020 state of texas versus raul reyes can i have parties announced for the record for the state ruben herrera for the state defense megan enriquez and john coons for raul reyes are you mr reyes yes ma'am council have you received all the discovery did you review it with your client I believe I have received all the discovery that is currently in the state's possession, Your Honor, and we have reviewed it with, I have reviewed it with my client. All right, the court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Mr. Reyes, I'm showing you what's entitled True Bill of Indictment. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, do you weigh the reading of the indictment? We do, Your Honor. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Your Honor, we are uh, waiving the um, enhancement uh, paragraphs and proceeding on count one. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Lesser included reckless um, injury to a child. Yeah. Any objection? No, Your Honor. That's our understanding. Showing you was entitled court admonishments. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, sir. Did you understand that the state is proceeding on the lesser included offense of injury to a child reckless? That's a state jail felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from uh, 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, sir. If you have attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty and the court will find you guilty. Are we proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Um, no, Your Honor. I'm thankful to my client for trusting me with his case and I'm thankful to the state um, throughout our conferring and negotiations and we just respectfully ask the court to follow this plea of bargain agreement that we've reached with the state. All right. And, and also that we also respectfully ask the court to grant him credit for all the time he has served in custody. I believe he has approximately, I think it's 216 days in the Bear County Jail. Okay. All right. And the court normally does not accept plea bargain agreements uh, without good cause, or you have to plea open to the court. The court is going to find that there is good cause to uh, accept this plea bargain agreement based upon the discussions that the court has had with the defense in the state, both being present and uh, Mr. Reyes being present. All right, Mr. Reyes, is there anything you wish to say before the court uh, passes judgment? I know. I just want to thank you. Thank my attorneys for for um, really helping me with uh, with this case and uh, just for giving me the chance to, to uh, accept the plea bargain also. All right. And what have you learned from this incident? Uh, not to lay down with dogs because uh, you will get uh, things. Uh, but oh. see, here's the thing. When you say not to lay down with dogs, the only people who lay down with dogs are dogs. That's, what I, that's exactly what I mean, man. So you're not, not going to be a dog anymore. And I'm, I'm going to stay away from other dogs. And uh, I, I think I really, uh, I'm really going to stay away from a lot of people when, when I get out. You know. Let me tell you what you should have learned from this incident, from my reading this. Number one, you're an adult. This is a child. You can't play games with children that involve physical contact. There's a reason why when you see football games, they don't have young children playing with grown people. That's why you got the Pop Warner League, because those little children should not be playing football with adults. So in this case, it appears that you all were playing some sort of TikTok thing. And then this child hits you on the back of the head with talcum powder. And then you hit him and he hits a wall. You can't be playing violent games with children of this nature. You understand? That's what you should learn from this. Yes, sir. I was considering giving you less than 18 months, but I don't know if he's learned much. From the statements he's made to the court, so I'm going to find you guilty. Well, Judge, yes. obviously. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, I'm so in. If, if if you've opened that door a little bit, I, I from our perspective, well, we've only known Raul for a few months now. He is he is he made some he's made some mistakes in life, obviously, and he put himself in a bad situation. He definitely has learned from this situation. He is not someone <laughs> that. Um, uh, Never been he, he, this was this was an accident, quite frankly, from his perspective in terms of what happened. And when the police arrived at the scene, the mother immediately tells the police officer that her son was fine. He says he, she says he's okay. She says it several times. 
uh, the kid had essentially no injuries. There's maybe even a tiny little bruise, but even that in the photos that were provided to us, you can't see anything. Um, I, I think I understand that you might not be particularly happy with what Raul or how he just replied to you, but I do think his mother's been here for, for many of his court settings. She's a very nice woman. I know she raised him better than this. And he's, he's unfortunately kind of made some bad choices in life, but his father's in failing health. He has a sister who has some health problems too. If there's any chance that you could show him any additional mercy, that would be wonderful. All right. And then John Kuntz, you stepped in and now uh, Brittany Mitchell stepping in. Yes, your honor. And, and it, it's not for reason you might think I I've been discussing with the mother of the victim as the court knows she has, is on probation. Um, she wanted it to be known. She's not here voluntarily. Um, she is begging for me to drop the charges right now. And, um, I told her that I would come and represent that to the court, but based on his history the state feels that the 18 months is fair. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Well, you, and yeah, briefly your honor, I wasn't aware of that. And in light of that too, <clears throat> um, we'd ask that he get time served based on the time that he has served. All right. Uh, could I see the mother just briefly? Is she here? Yes, sir. Thank you. Step to the side. Does anyone know where she is? Is she upstairs? Is she missing? Has she left the building? Just wondering. Tell her, tell them she needs to come into court. Yes, please. I can go get her. They will do that. Thank you. People with guns here, they can go get her. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Hello. All right. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth will help you, God? Yes. All right. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Sylvia Martinez Lopez. All right. Now, I understand that you are on probation, so no one is going to ask you anything that will put you in any type of legal jeopardy. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. So I want to make something clear to you, and I want you to listen to me very clear, clearly, and that's why I wanted you in here, and it's on the record. So with regards to any CPS case you have open, this is going to be on the record, and anybody will be able to get it. Do you understand? Yes. This gentleman over here to my right, Mr. Reyes, you are not to have any contact with him. Do you understand? Yes. He is not to have any contact with the complainant in, your, in this case, which is your child. Do you understand? Yes. Now, I've read the police reports. And I know in the police report, you put in there, oh, I barely knew him. You and I both know that's not true. You are not to have contact with him. If he ends up at your house, whether he shows up on his own, if he does, you need to call the police. Or if he shows up because you've invited him into your house, Child Protective Services is going to know about it. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. How old is your child? 11. How many children do you have? Four. What are their ages? 18, 17, 16. Do they all live with you? Yes, ma'am. All right. And Child Protective Services is in your life, right? No, ma'am. All right. They're going to be in your life if you don't get your act together. Yes, and I know they were in your life previously. Yes, ma'am. I, I get so many parents when I was a defense attorney, you know what they would tell me when I would represent them in their CPS cases? They say, I'll walk through fire for my children. And you know what I would tell them? You don't need to walk through fire for your children. Nobody's asking you to do that. But what you have to do is you cannot be bringing people in their lives who should not be in their life. Yes, people with criminal histories shouldn't be in your children's life because you're trying to set an example for them. And you know what they would tell me every time? Okay, Stephanie, I'll do what you say. I'm not going to get a new boyfriend. I'm not going to get pregnant during the pendency of this case because I want my children back and I'll do whatever I can to get my children back. And guess what they did? I would get their children back for them. You'd have this probationary period with CPS where they're still in your life. Next thing I know, I'm getting a call from the caseworker. And you know what they're telling me? Stephanie, your client is pregnant and she's moved some guy in here that she's met at the club on Friday and they don't leave. 
So do you understand my instructions? That's fine. And I read the police report and the police report, uh, it states that you said that your child did not suffer any major injury. Is that true? Uh, yes, ma'am. And how is your child doing now? He's doing good. All right. And why are you letting them play this stupid game where they're putting talcum powder and he's hitting this gentleman on the back of the head? Why Why were you allowing that in your house? I, did, I didn't know my son was going to do that. Hmm. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. You should not be allowing that. There is a reason, and while you are out, I told everybody this, there is a reason why you don't have children playing sports with adults because they can get injured. You don't see Pop Warner football team playing college players. You know why? Because they can get injured. Your children need to behave as children behave, and you shouldn't bring anybody in your house who's going to roughhouse them and hurt them in that way. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Is there anything you do not understand? Are they, so in other words, he is getting. No, in other words. Is, I mean, I wanted to thing. drop the, tra- 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 the charges. The charges are not getting dropped. Mm-hmm. What you should be concentrating on is instead of what's happening to him, you need to start putting your children first and you're not. No, I do put my children first. No, you first. do not. Okay, ma'am. Let me ask you this. If you put your children first, why are you letting somebody with his history come live at your house? He wasn't living at my house. Mm-hmm. No, he but wasn't. you knew him, didn't you? Yes, I did. And you I told the police you barely mom. knew him. I met That's him what's the in the police report. Okay. You're not putting your children first. And if you don't put your children first, you know what's going to end up happening? You're going to have another CPS case and you're going to have somebody else looking after your children and who knows what will happen. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Any questions from anybody else? Not from the state, Your Honor. Nothing from the defense, Judge. All right. You're excused. All right. I'm finding you guilty. I'm going to sentence you to 13 months in the state jail facility, give you credit for any time served. There's to be no contact with Daniel Lopez and Sylvia Lopez. Do you understand? And it would probably be in your best interest. Do not get involved with people who have children until you have your life in order. Do you understand? understand? And you're an adult. You should know better than to start playing these type of games with a young child. You understand? And it is never appropriate in the situation that you were in to discipline somebody in anger because it sounds like you were angry because he put talcum powder on his hand and then hit you at the back of the head so that's not appropriate you understand there's a lot of no's going on from your counsel <laughs> i think it would probably be best for you to listen to them because they went to law school and there's a reason they're telling you no Showing you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, sir. Right. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And I see there's a previous uh, affirmative finding of family violence. With that, you're not allowed to own any weapons or ammunition. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very Welcome. much, Judge.